Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tara, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. <laughs> Taurus, this is your um monthly reading for October 2022. So this is for the first half of October. October 1st to the 16th. Um, so Taurus, please keep in mind that the reading it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. So this reading can manifest the first half of October. It can manifest later on down the line as time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So Taurus, I didn't get any messages during the pre-shuffle, but I kind of picked up energy. Um... Taurus, it could be your energy or somebody else's energy, but I'm like pretty sure it's your energy because I was tapping into your energy. So um, I felt very calm in your energy, Taurus, very calm, cool, calm, collected. Um, I don't know, Taurus, if you could be like content or at peace or Taurus, you could be like upset, but you're keeping like your cool or you're keeping your temperament in control. Um... But I picked up calmness, like you're very calm. You're just calm. That's why the energy I picked up, very calm. So, that's what that was during the pre-shuffle. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the reading. So, Taurus, I'm going to pull for the monthly readings. I'm pulling your oracle from this deck. Keep in mind that your oracle is also your overall energy and it's also what's crowning you. And then I'm going to pull you a message from this deck right here. So, what's Taurus Oracle? The first half of October. What is Taurus Oracle? What's crowning Taurus? All right, we have forgiveness. <laughs> so, Taurus, um, you could have Aquarius in your chart or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Because this card came out for Aquarius uh, monthly reading for October. This also came out for Aquarius. And I did it last. I did it yesterday. Or last night. Yeah, I think I did it sometime yesterday. So, again, Taurus, you can have Aquarius in your chart. Because that card came out for Aquarius. So, um, Taurus, this could be you forgiving somebody else. Or this could be self-forgiveness. Either one. Or both. Alright, so what's Taurus' message for the first half of September? Okay, so we have affirmation for healing the heart. Yeah, so this could be self-forgiveness. Or Taurus, you could be helping somebody else forgive. This is either self-forgiveness or you could be helping somebody else um, forgive or heal. Yeah, so affirmation for healing the heart. So Taurus, somebody in your energy needs um, heart healing. Um, Taurus, this is you or somebody else. So let me read that energy because that's your message. Let me read it. All right. So this, um, your message is affirmation for healing the heart. And this is of the fire element. So let me read it. Life can be tough. And there are times when all of us feel sad and broken hearted. Relationships that don't work out. The loss of pets or human loved ones, illness, disappointments. There are plenty of things that leave us wounded and aching. It is okay to be sad, but when the sadness doesn't go away or interferes with our ability to function in a healthy way, we may need to look outside ourselves for help in moving past it. That can mean family or friends, a counselor, or reaching out to de deity for healing. Be kind to yourself and allow others to be kind to you too. So I'm going to read another paragraph. All right. So this card may mean you have a heart that is in need of mending. If so, what are you doing to help the process along? Are you doing your best to heal or are you wallowing? If you need help in healing, are you looking for it and accepting it? Accepting it if it is offered. If your heart is doing just fine, Perhaps this card is an indication that you can do something to help someone else whose heart is filled with sorrow. Look around you, and if you see someone who, who is dealing with heartbreak, 
reach out and offer a hug or a shoulder to lean on or just an ear to listen. All right. So, um, Taurus, for most of y'all, I think you guys are helping somebody else. Somebody else could be going through it. Yeah, Taurus, I think you could be helping somebody else. Because y'all energy I picked up on. I didn't too much pick up that you was heartbroken, Taurus. I just picked up that, that you're very calm. Taurus, you could have been calm like that because you could have been listening. Like you're giving a listening ear. Or you trying to figure out solutions or something to help somebody or something. For some of y'all, this could be you in need of healing. But for most of y'all, I'm picking up you're helping somebody else. Towards somebody around you um, could be dealing with child services, Taurus. Or somebody could have childhood childhood issues. Um, Taurus, you could be dealing with somebody that might get bad news. Somebody could be trying to get their kids back and they might get denied. Somebody's not going to be able to get their kids back or something like that. So somebody could be heartbroken about that. Towards you or somebody else could be heartbroken about like child services or something. All right, so I'm a, let me pick a card. Towards I'm a, this. Which this is what you can expect in love and romance. And let me see what's at the bottom of this deck. Yeah, we have intimidated. So Taurus, you or somebody else could be intimidated. Taurus, it could be somebody else. Whoever need healing, that could be the person that's intimidated. Somebody could be intimidated by the court system or somebody's intimidated by the other parent, their child's other parent or something. Somebody feels intimidated. Somebody could be going through baby, daddy, baby, mama drama, something like that. Or towards this could be something concerning your children and your children's children could be your grandchildren. So towards something could be going on with your grandchildren. And towards you might feel intimidated because you're not the parent. You could just be the grandparent or something like that. All right. So I'm going to pull a card from the top and a card from the bo bottom <clears throat> concerning what you can expect in love and romance. So we got soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So towards you or somebody else is in a soul contract. Then we got sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. This could also be a third party situation in love. Taurus, you could be dealing with a third party. Or you're somebody's third party. Um, Taurus, your third party might come to you heartbroken. So Taurus, you're in a soul, soul contract. You're dealing with a soulmate. This could be your karmic or your twin. But I'm picking up a third party. So, Taurus, your third party might come to you complaining that their lover is gaslighting them. Their lover is, like, um, ignoring them, mistreating them, behaving as if they're not there. So, Taurus, somebody might come to you for affection, something they're not getting at home. Taurus, this could be your third party. Towards your third party is again could either be your karmic or is your twin. So towards your twin might come to you heartbroken. It could be your twin. Your twin could be in a um, soulmate connection with their karmic or something. But anyway, somebody has a soul connection here, and somebody's watching, looking, stalking, or gaslighting, or focusing out. Or somebody perceives someone as a soulmate. One person might perceive somebody as a soulmate and the other person don't. So somebody could be taking a relationship seriously and it's like the other lover is not. So something like that could be going on. So Taurus, this is your relationship or like you could be consoling um, your third party or something or something like that. Or Taurus, your lover might bring it to your attention that they feel neglected by you. 
Or Taurus, you might bring it to your lover's attention that you feel neglected by them or something. You feel as though somebody's gaslighting you or Taurus, your lover feel as though you gaslight them. You focus out. You don't pay them attention. You ignore them. Somebody feel neglected or something. Or something like that. And then we got stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking, shocking attack. <sighs> yeah. Somebody lover might also get hurt or somebody's lover might get stabbed. I'm picking that up too. Taurus, I don't think it's you. Um, Taurus, I'm going to give an example. Taurus, say like you a man and your homeboy, he gets stabbed. It's like, Taurus, your homeboy could be in the hospital. It's like, Taurus, his girlfriend might come to you and be... It's like, Taurus, you... <sighs> Taurus, this woman, she... It's like, Taurus, you... This woman could be like, um, she could be overly uh, emotional or she keep talking about the situation. And Taurus, I think at one point, it's like you just going to focus out. You don't want to hear what this woman is saying. Because she said everything. She cried. She said everything. Because somebody might get attacked. Somebody's lover might get attacked. And Taurus, I'm picking up, it might not be your lover. It could be your friend. And your friend's lover is going to come to you complaining about the situation. And it's like, Taurus, you kind of like don't want to hear it after a while or you ready for this woman to leave your house, leave out your presence, get out your car because she just keep talking and talking and crying. And then Taurus, you like, mm. or Taurus, if you a female, your female friend might get hurt because of her lover. And it's like, Taurus, her boyfriend going to come to you trying to explain to you what happened. And it's like, Taurus, you don't want to hear it. Because he could be the reason why she got stabbed or something. Yeah, somebody focusing out. Like, somebody don't want to hear it. Or something like that. <clears throat> but this person, if somebody gets phys physically stabbed, um, I think this person is going to be okay. Yeah, somebody going to be okay. So, let me pull three cards from the tea leaf deck. Give me three messages for Taurus. All right, the first card out, we got Claw. Be careful, do not take risk. So, Taurus, that's for you or somebody else. And then we got plenty of material things, bowl. I'm picking up, um, somebody needs to be careful because somebody uh, might attempt to, like, offend someone. And this person is going to wish they didn't do this because somebody has, like, a, a lot of uh, influence. Somebody is very well off. They have a lot of influence. So somebody needs to be careful. Do not take risks because somebody has plenty of material things. And it's more to this person's material things. Like, this person has influence. So say, like, Taurus, somebody robbed somebody. It's like somebody going to rob the wrong person because not only do this person have plenty of material things, this person also has influence. Somebody might do something to somebody not knowing that who this person is or something like that. I picked that up intuitively. So somebody need to be careful towards you or somebody you know. So somebody might rob somebody and it's like this person has the influence or the power or authority to like to catch their offender like this person is not poor this is not a crime that's gonna happen and the police say oh we'll do what we you know we'll see what we can do uh-uh this person has more than material things this person i'm hearing this person has plenty of material things and then some or this person has plenty of material things for a reason. And somebody might not realize that until the last minute. Somebody is going to offend somebody who has plenty of material things. But 
somebody don't know is more to this person or something like that. Yeah, and then we have career. Yeah. So, um, somebody might try to rob somebody or something because somebody could be having a hard time finding employment or somebody's not getting along with their superior or something at work. So, Taurus, you or somebody else need to be careful. Do not take risks. Somebody might, Taurus, somebody you know. It's going to be heartbroken because they did a crime or something and this person going to get caught. And Taurus, this person is going to come complaining to you. And Taurus, you don't want to hear it. Because this person did something that they shouldn't have did. And they're going to get caught and that's why somebody could be heartbroken. So Taurus, you might have to forgive like your lover or something. Because your lover could have stole something or some type of robbery or something. And it's like, Taurus, your lover got caught, and now your lover got to do time. So it's like, Taurus, you might have to forgive your lover because your lover got to leave. Or something like that. Yeah, your lover might have to go to jail and do time because they're going to get caught. And Taurus, if that's the situation, it's like, Taurus, be careful, do not take risks. So I don't know if somebody's going to be on the run, and it's like, Taurus, don't. Be careful how you help this person. That's all I'm going to say. Taurus, be careful how you assist this person. Especially if they're on a run or something. Or this is telling me to tell you, Taurus, be careful. Do not take risks to try to obtain plenty of material things. Because you could be um, experiencing, like, you could be being demoted at work. Or um, you could be unemployed, Taurus. Or it's like, Taurus, you went to school, you went to college, you got a degree. But it's like nobody want to hire you, Taurus. So, Taurus, you could be tempted to do, like, something criminal or something. Be careful. Do not take risks to obtain plenty of material things because somebody could be having a hard time in their career. Or somebody could be having a hard time obtaining employment. Or something like that. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead with the tarot. All right. So what's going on with Taurus? What can Taurus expect? We have temperance. So Taurus, you can have Sagittarius in your chart. Are you dealing with a Sagittarius? Um, balance, harmony, self-control, moderation, and patience. Yup. Taurus, spirit wants you to do something in moderation or be patient. Because, Taurus, you could be getting demoted. You might get demoted. Or, Taurus, you, you're having a hard time obtaining employment. And you could be tempted to do something illegal to obtain plenty of material things. Or something. Or, Taurus, somebody around you could have committed a crime. And, Taurus, like I said before, be careful how you help this person because you could get in trouble too. So, just be careful. Somebody that's on a run or somebody that's guilty of a crime. Be careful. Do something in moderation. So, Taurus, say like somebody on a run and this person call your phone. And it's like, Taurus, this person keep calling your phone. It's like, Taurus, you might have to tell this person, stop calling my phone. Like, we had a conversation. I'm happy you are, right? Um... But stop calling my phone because somebody could be on the run or something. And Taurus, this person keep calling your phone. So Taurus, maybe somebody stole something and they want you to hold it for them or something or hide it or something or hold on to something while they go to jail. Taurus, do something in moderation so you won't get in trouble or you won't get in trouble with this person. the knight of pentacles so Taurus, that knight of pentacles could be you or you could be dealing with another earth sign capricorn towards a virgo 
The Knight of Pentacles could be stagnation. It could be angelic protection. Temperance could also be angelic protection too. Somebody could be divinely protected. Taurus, you or somebody else could be trying to offend somebody who's divinely protected. Or somebody got bodyguards. So I don't know if somebody could be trying to rob like a, a wealthy person or a famous person. But somebody could have bodyguards. 3D or 5D. Somebody got bodyguards. Or Taurus, maybe that's your career. Taurus, you could be a bodyguard. Or something. Temperance in the Knight of Pentacles. This angelic protection, I also heard bodyguards. So this could be 3D or 5D. Yeah, then we got the Page of Cups. So Taurus, you could be dealing with a water sign or you could have water in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. <sighs> yeah, something could be going on with um, your children, Taurus, or somebody else's child. A studious kid, a new lover. I mean, a new love, dreamer, volunteer work, happy, surprise, sensitivity. So this could be a child. Um, it could be somebody who's emotionally immature. Um, somebody could be trying to take advantage of a child. <clears throat> Clarify temperance. Then we got the emperor. So Taurus, you could have Aries in your chart. Are you dealing with the Aries? The emperor could be somebody's father. Um, somebody's husband, somebody's ex-husband, somebody's child's father. Aries, I mean, not Aries, uh, Taurus, if you're a female, you could be dealing with your father or your child's father or your husband or your ex-husband. Yeah, respect, fatherhood, strategic planning, control, authority, structure. So somebody needs to do something in moderation with their child's father or being at, or being a father. So Taurus, your father could be in trouble, or your child's father could be in trouble, or Taurus, your child can be in trouble and. It's like, Taurus, like, don't incriminate your child or don't talk to the police because the emperor could be the chief of police. Or, Taurus, be careful how you're speaking to the chief of police because something could be going on with your child. And it's like, Taurus, you might get in contact with the chief of police and it's like, Taurus, either I'm hearing don't say something to incriminate your child or don't be rude to this chief of police. Or something like that. Because they might make something harder for your child if you're rude to them or something. Or somebody could be trying to obtain a position for the wrong reasons. I see that too. Somebody could be trying to obtain a position for the wrong reasons. Or somebody... um. Somebody needs to reevaluate their motives for why they want to be the emperor. So the emperor could be the chief of police, the mayor. Um, somebody wants to be a father. A, this could even be a stepfather. Uh, Taurus, you or somebody else need to like reevaluate why they want to be the emperor. Be careful. Do not take risks. And that could be the reason why somebody's career is coming out sideways. Taurus, this is you or somebody you know. Somebody might get in trouble. It's like, Taurus, say like you know somebody that's going to like school to be a cop. They're in the police academy. 
Taurus, you might tell somebody to reevaluate why they even want to be a cop because they think it might give them money, like it brings them money. Somebody only want to be a cop because they think it'll give them plenty of material things. And Taurus, you might be explaining to somebody like, or somebody could have failed their test. They're not going to get like, they're going to fail police academy or something like that. Or, some, or it's like this person graduated the police academy, but they're having a hard time getting a job or something like that. But I heard with Temperance and the Emperor, somebody needs to reevaluate why they, why they want to do this. Why do they want to be the emperor? Why they want to be the mayor? Why they want to be the chief of police? Why they want to work for the cops? Why do you want to be a cop? Why are you going to school to be a cop? Because somebody think it's going to bring them plenty of material things. So somebody could be being protected from being the page of cups. <laughs> Something is not all that is cracked up to be. And Taurus, you or somebody else is going to get a reality check. I just heard the emperor could be a bodyguard as well. Somebody probably want to be a bodyguard for like the clout or somebody wants to be a bodyguard because they want to be around famous people or something like that. And Taurus, you could be telling somebody that's not, that's a serious job. Like what if something really happened? You really going to have to protect, like you could lose your life. It's not about the money. You could really lose your life in this line of work. So somebody, Taurus, it could be your child. Somebody's being protected because they're being naive. They're being like a little bit childlike or dreamy. Somebody's not taking something serious or something like that. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Tempers with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to say that's angelic protection. Somebody is being protected from like somebody that's emotionally immature or naive to something. Or some, Taurus, I don't know if you might find out your child is pregnant or something. Or it's like, Taurus, your child might have a miscarriage. And Taurus, you might have to tell your child that it was meant to be, it could have been divine timing. Taurus, it's like, you're going to have to give your child a different pers per perspective. Like them miscarrying could have been like a good thing because maybe your child is not ready for a baby or something like that. Or maybe your child, your child's, uh, child's father, he's something. I don't know. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands. Somebody is being protected from like jumping into a career. Um, Something that they could be being naive about, or they're doing something from the for the for the wrong reason, or somebody's being protected from becoming a mother. It could be a young girl or a young lady. A woman might have um a miscarriage or something. Somebody could also be being like somebody's third party because somebody the emperor. So this woman could be thinking that if she get pregnant by the emperor, that is going to bring her plenty of material things. <clears throat> Somebody being the queen of wands, that could be the other woman. Or somebody's being bold and confident about their foolishness. It's like somebody's bold and confident, but they childish. Like it's somebody's being naive to like the reality of something. This is parenting or some type of career. Yeah, somebody needs to take something serious. Clarify the page of cups. Yeah, we got the eight of wands. Speed, action, quick changes, news. News arrives, air travel, movement, quick decisions. So the eight of wands. So, Taurus, you can have fire in your chart. Are you dealing with a fire sign? A Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius? Somebody might also get hurt on a job. Oh, boy. Somebody could have went to the police academy. And it's like somebody might get stabbed. Some, it's like a new cop 
a rookie cop um, might get stabbed because this rookie cop went on like a domestic violence and somebody might stab this cop or something. It's a rookie cop. And it's like Taurus. Um, it's like now this person is like, they see the truth. Because somebody really could have became a cop because they thought it would bring them a lot of income or something. But and it's like a rookie cop might get stabbed. And now this person is like second guessing like, I don't want to do this no more. Because somebody got into something. They were being naive or their motives wasn't right. That somebody's motives wasn't right. So, Taurus, you might have to forgive somebody. Taurus, your family member or something could be a rookie cop. And, Taurus, you might have to forgive somebody that could have stabbed your family member. But it's like, Taurus, you're telling your family member, do you still want to be a cop? Do you still want to do this? Taurus, you could have been trying to tell your family member not to, like, become a cop or something. And they didn't want to listen to you. Taurus, this could be your lover or, your like, your adult child. Somebody was taking something lightly. Yeah, it's like a rookie cop is going to go for on a on a call, but it's for domestic violence. And somebody's this person might stab this cop or something. And now this person is like, I don't want to be a cop no more or or something like that. Somebody's doubting their career or something. Taurus, I'm also picking up, be careful how you talk to somebody's boss, the emperor. So, Taurus, something might happen to your child or your lover on the job. And, Taurus, be careful how you talk to your lover's or your child's boss. Because you might get your lover fired or your child fired. Because, Taurus, you could be upset because your child or your lover got hurt on the job. Yeah, Taurus, you could you could have said something very nasty or something to your lovers or your child's um boss or something. So Taurus, you might have to forgive yourself because you might get your lover or your child fired because you said something to their boss. Or Taurus, you gonna say something to your lover's father or something? <laughs> And Taurus, I don't know if your lover's father is going to try to get you fired or something. Something. Be careful. Do not take risks or something like that. All right. What's this spell with temperance and the emperor? Or some... <laughs> Somebody I also see too, and I didn't want to say it. But somebody might rob or try to steal something from a politician. This person could have had a nice car. Taurus, this could be your child, your stepchild. Somebody could have tried to offend like a politician. It was like a child, the Page of Cups. And it's like somebody going to jail. Like these, this child or these kids ain't getting away with this. This could have been an attempted car theft or something. Yeah. Taurus, you might have to call the emperor or something. I heard the emperor could be a politician as well. And it's like these kids didn't know that. They just saw a nice car and wanted to take this person's car. But it could be a politician or something. I don't know. Something like that. Stalking came out sideways. Someone stalking you on social media or by any means possible often checking up on you helping keeping tabs watching you yeah mm, yeah somebody need to be careful because this could be the fbi is watching somebody taurus your family member could have committed a crime and it's like taurus the cops or the fbi is not really bothering you but if your friend or somebody keep calling you they're gonna start um stalking you or um something taurus or something Somebody could be on a run or somebody offended somebody of like high class or high status or influence or something. 
And it's like, Taurus, the cops ain't bothering you too much yet. But if this person keep contacting you, it's like the FBI or something going to start stalking you or something. Or something like that. Somebody can also uh, be in trouble in the police, not the police, but whoever. The authorities is trying to figure out if something was premeditated or not. So, say like some teenagers or something tried to steal like a politician car. They trying to figure out what charges to give this person. Was y'all stalking this person before y'all robbed them or was it something that just happened? So, something like that could be going on. Somebody could be trying to figure out if they want to add more charges to somebody's crime. So, they trying to figure out was it premeditated or not. I see that too. So, somebody need to temper what they're telling the emperor. Or somebody needs to temperance how they're talking to the emperor. Or something like that. What's the still with the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands? <clears throat> Hidden agendas, yeah. Or Taurus, somebody you know could be in trouble and somebody might lie to you, Taurus. Pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones they've revealed. Yeah, this could be some detectives. Or Taurus, you lie to somebody or someone you're fond of is going to lie to you. This could be your child or um, a lover. Somebody has a hidden agenda. Somebody could have been the other woman. Somebody could have been trying to be slick. So Taurus, say like you got a daughter. It's like Taurus, your daughter not telling you the whole story. She could have been the other woman and maybe this man or Taurus is like, your daughter might tell you she missed Kiri, but this man like made her get an abortion or something. But it's like, Taurus, your daughter don't want you to know that she's sleeping with a married man. She got a hidden agenda. She want this man for money or something. Yeah. Somebody could be lying on a child's father. Taurus, be careful because I don't know if you might attempt to lie on your child's father or something. Taurus, if you lie on your child's father, you might get caught. Or something like that. Or it's like, Taurus, if you lie on somebody, somebody's going to like affect your job or something. Something like that. Somebody going to try to offend your career or your cash flow or something. So, Taurus, this the police that got hidden agendas or your child or lover. Somebody's not telling you the whole story, Taurus. Or you're not telling somebody else the whole story. Because I'm, I'm picking up somebody trying to figure out was something premeditated? Or did this just happen randomly or something like that? What's the spill with the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands? Divination spying. I'm also picking up if somebody is a cop, Taurus, it could, this could be your child or your lover. If somebody is a cop, something might happen by chance. And it's going to be a conflict of interest. So, Taurus, say like your lover, they're a cop, but your lover is a rookie cop. It's like, Taurus, your lover is going to be called to a situation... And it's like, Taurus, somebody might stab your lover if your lover is a rookie cop. But Taurus, it's like, lo and behold, the person that stabbed your lover is like your ex or something. So, Taurus, you trying to figure out, did so-and-so do that on purpose? Like, do so-and-so know that's my lover? So, Taurus, your ex could be in trouble because your ex could have stabbed like your new lover, but... I don't know if your ex did it on purpose or not. And Taurus, you could be trying to figure that out too. Or something like that. Or it's like, Taurus, be careful what you tell the emperor, the chief of police or something. Because something could be a conflict of interest and it might make a situation worse. Like, something could have happened by coincidence. It's like, Taurus, what is it a coincidence that your new lover is a rookie cop and your new lover get called to a scene and your ex Taurus stab your new lover and your new lover is a rookie cop. It's like, what's the chances of that happening? But it happened. Or something like that. Or 
or it's like tourists if you tell tourists if your new lover if your lover is a rookie cop your your lover's boss might call you and it's like tourists it's like be careful what you tell that emperor because it might get your lover in trouble or um not your lover might not get in trouble but um Something might not go in your love of favor. Because something could have been a conflict of interest. Or something like that. It's like Taurus. Say like your lover works in like a medium crime area. Your lover works in a medium crime area. It's like Taurus. If you slip and tell your lover's boss. Which is the chief of, chief of police. That it was your ex who stabbed your lover. It's like, Taurus, your lover's boss, the chief of police, might move your lover to a high crime area to get away from, like, the victim, this offender, or something like that. It's like, they might move your lover to a worse area, like a high crime area or something. Or something, something. Or, Taurus, your lover might, I don't know. Somebody, mm, Taurus, just be careful what you say or how you say something to that emperor. Because something. But anyway, we got divination spying. Someone is consulting the tarot to get information on you. Getting readings on you asking a psychic. Yeah, this is getting messy. This is getting messy. Taurus, I'm picking up your ex could have offended your new lover, Taurus. Whether your lover a cop or not. Your ex could have offended your new lover. Somebody getting readings done, Taurus, on you. This could be the, the emperor or like this person, your ex or something. Yeah. Somebody that's emotionally immature. Is spying or something. Hmm. Someone is consulting the tarot to get information on you. Oh, man. Taurus, you could be telling somebody some good advice and somebody don't trust you. So, it's like, Taurus, or this could have happened in the past. It's like, Taurus, you was giving somebody some advice, but this person didn't trust you. And somebody could be getting karma because they didn't trust you. Or something. Or, Taurus, you was telling, Taurus, you was trying to tell somebody something and they wouldn't listen. But it's like, Taurus, this person didn't trust you. It's like, Taurus, somebody was being suspicious of you when they should have been being suspicious of somebody else. And somebody was getting readings on you or something because they didn't trust you. So, Taurus, I don't know. Um, it's like, Taurus, your child or your lover don't trust you, but it's actually your child. It's like, Taurus, say like you a parent. It's like, Taurus, your child don't trust you because you could be talking about their child's father. But it's like, Taurus, your, chi your child's child's father might end up offending your child. And your child might come back to you and confess or apologize. Or it's like, Taurus, your lover didn't want to believe you. And the emperor might fire your lover. It's like, Taurus, somebody that should have trusted you didn't. And they going to fall in, like, into a trap or something. And it's like, Taurus, then this person going to be getting readings on you. Like, they were suspicious of you. When they shouldn't have been. But somebody was like the page of cups. They was emotionally immature. Or, Taurus, somebody um sat up there and made, like, a big life decision off of, like, a tarot reading. But it's like the tarot reading was through text or email or something. 
somebody text somebody or email somebody a reading <laughs> or something like that. Somebody could have been playing with divination or something like that. Or Taurus, your lover could have got a reading on you, but it was like through text or email. And the reading might come out to be false. It's like Taurus, somebody could have gave your lover a false reading about you or something. Or it's like Taurus, your child or your lover could have paid like $200 for like a $10 reading. Because somebody was like childish. Somebody didn't know how something worked. Like divination worked. And because somebody had hidden agendas. So somebody could have catfished somebody. Or did something like foolish. The page of cards. Yeah, somebody could have. Um, Taurus, I don't know who this person is. Yeah, somebody could have really paid like a high price or they paid a lot of money for like an email reading or like a text. <laughs> the reading was through an email or a text. And this person could have paid a whole bunch of money. Somebody might get catfished or con. Somebody could be posing as a tarot reader. Oh my God, something is crazy. Taurus, I also see that your child or your lover might get fired or reprimanded or investigated at work because they was using their job system to like, for tarot? <laughs> and the emperor might catch somebody. Somebody was doing something like at work that they shouldn't have been doing. Or something like that. Somebody might get caught. Somebody was at work. So this is like somebody worked in a police station. And it's like, Taurus, this person went on like a tarot website or something. And I don't know if like the, the police station's uh, computer system could have got hacked. <laughs> Because somebody was like doing something on their, uh, in the police database or the, that they wasn't supposed to do at work. Somebody did something. Or Taurus, you, you tipped it to do this, but don't. Because something might happen and it's going to lead back to you and you might get fired or something. What's the tea with temperance? The emperor is stalking sideways. I got to hurry up because my phone about to die in force her. Yeah. Somebody could have also got bogus spell work. Somebody could have been trying to put a, put a death ritual on somebody. This is my card for dark magic. Somebody trying to put a spell work spell on somebody. But yeah. Some spell work might backfire and somebody might get karma. Yeah, I see that too. And it's going to affect this person's career. Somebody was trying to do spell work or a death ritual on somebody. Somebody could have gave somebody false information on how to do spell work. And it's going to backfire and it's going to affect somebody's career or something. What's, yeah, Wolf and Sheep closing. Somebody could have been dealing with a false spiritualist. Or somebody got a fake tarot reading or something. What's the tea with the Knight of Pentacles? The Queen of Wands and Hidden Agendas. Giving money. Yeah, somebody paid for some spell work. But somebody was posing as like a tarot reader or something or a practitioner. And this person had hidden agendas. What's the tea with the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and Divination Finding? Marrying for money. Taurus, your child could have been trying to do a love spell on their lover. And this man was already married. And something might backfire. I see that too. Towards your child was trying to do a love spell on their lover. And it might backfire. And Taurus, it might affect your career or your child's career or something. Because <clears throat> somebody was trying to marry somebody for money. So Taurus, this is you or your child was doing this. Somebody was trying to do spell work. 
or somebody was trying to do a death ritual on somebody's uh, main person and it's going to backfire or it's going to affect somebody's job. So Taurus, this is you or this could be your child or something or Taurus, this could be your lover's third party that was trying to do a death ritual on you. And Taurus, maybe your lover's third party might do harm to your lover. Like some type of spell work or death ritual is going to go. I mean, this is just crazy. Yeah, somebody was giving somebody money that had hidden agendas. Somebody protected and somebody, because somebody is protected, somebody going to get karma because somebody's protected. It could be you, Taurus, that's protected because you could be the page of cups. You could be naive. Or Taurus, somebody was trying to do a, a love spell on you and it's going to backfire. It could be your lover or something. But I'm going to end it um, because my phone about to die. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Taurus, this could also be telling me don't take a risk to like marry a lover because this, this could be spell work or something like that. Yeah. Or Taurus, this is telling your lover to not take a risk and do spell work on you because you're protected or something. But anyway, Taurus, enjoy the month of October and thanks. Somebody is being warned to not take risk because somebody is protected. This is 3D or spiritual protection. And some type of death ritual or spell work or love spell work is going to backfire on somebody. And then somebody going to need healing and or forgiveness. Because somebody's a wolf in sheep's clothing. So somebody could be a fake practitioner or something. Or a practitioner just lied for the money. They wanted the money, but the spell work didn't work or something. So, Taurus, you could be trying to figure out if somebody did this on purpose. Taurus, you could have been trying to go get spell work. And you trying to figure out, did this practitioner, like, just blatantly lie to you? Or did they just not know what they were doing or something? Something like that. Or something. Somebody could have been trying to marry somebody for plenty of material things. And oh boy. Yeah, so let me end it. Thanks, Taurus.